going on daddy <clears throat> your boy a little bit congested up in here but the show must still go on today boy this is part of converse week right there are the jack purcell uh these p-u-r-c-e-l-l and that's like i'm starting to realize that's a signature on a toe box you know you make that like that instead of just this part he put this part on top of it so that's a little cool same way like how um wang wang do on adidas he makes up um what you call it the um upside down adidas thing so that's cool these right here today are all suede and uh i wanted to get into it and we about to get into it i'm gonna get my stuff that i need be back man. all right daddy these these and these are called the converse con one star pro speckle suede low tops so that's the speckle suede cons the cons one star so those are con one star what they call them cons one star and these are the speckle ones the low one and these are the speckled ones, the mid ones, and these are just the regular Con One Star Pros on there. They all suede. And these, this one right here <coughs> is called um, Carver's Breakpoint Pro Suede. Yeah, that's what they call. And these are $75. Um, these are 70 and these are 75. Y'all sleeping if y'all don't get these right here, boy. That's them oatmeal joints right there, these parcels. They on sale, $64. I'm keeping these. This is 10 and a half. These are fire. Leather. Nice. I like it, bro. Up on there. But yeah, that's what those are right here. First things first. I like these uh, goddamn what you call it, strings here. Not that one, but this one. I love that. Uh, it's nice. I do. I don't know why they give you. Why they even put the string like this one instead of putting? Just put it in the regular bag, baby. Just put it in the regular bag. Well, let's see the presentation. Look at that boy. That presentation is nice. Suede tongue on this one. This one definitely. These are like skates. These are skate shoes. I got the um the blue uh, suede. This right here. You gotta like play around. Got some of that. A lot of these suede men be having that. Uh, to me, that powder. But you see how it's coming back. You know what I mean, I give it a, I give it a B suede. You know what I mean, from A to B, I give it a B suede. You know what I mean, give it a B suede. Cause it's gotta be a little rugged anyway for skating. You know what I mean, soft, soft in there. You know, have to come back. You have to come back. Even the logo is suede. I like it. You see the bottom of it. Looking nice, looking nice. Nice skater shoe. Got the Luna um, insole. And they started doing that since like 2000, I think it was 2013. Let's give it more, what you call it, up on there. More uh, comfort. You see that sole that be on the night canvas and all that other one on there. Nice skater shoe, nice canvas. You're gonna be good, baby. And then you got the regular cons up on it without the speckle. Got a little funky design on on that. Sweet. Not as good as this one to me. Feels like real thin, thin suede. This is real, real, like real thin cut. 
and you really don't have no comeback. So to me, I'm gonna give this like a low of, I'm gonna give this more like a, a B minus, like a B minus, this a B. This is like a B minus, more rough. Like, like a sandpaper type feel. It looks nice though. And then, you know, the regular chucker with the blue on it. I don't know what you call it. Hits up on there. Yeah, yeah, like a bluish purple. Like a bluish purple up on there. Like I said, it looks like a, more like a purple, to tell you the truth. Look more like a close to a purple. Yeah, it's more like a purple, I think. Yeah, more like a purple. Yeah, it pops. It pops. It pops the white midsole. And I mean, to put that little purple on it. Hey, man, my fucking phone, man, was bugging the fuck out, man. I, I, I'm about to replace this shit, definitely, man. I, we, we paid too much for this shit, for this shit to be bugging out. This shit, to me, got to um, be refurbished. Get fixed and then put on the refurbished list. All right, man, what I was saying on here, man, I like the blue right here. This is a beige. This is like a tan, oatmeal tan, beige. Yeah, I say tan. I always say tan and beige. Tan and beige is kind of close any either way. Navy blue. I like the little white um, sh um strings. Up on it, the threading. I always love threading. So you even got the threading on the tongue. I like that. And on the um on the cons, the sway feels better. Well, on this one it feels right. Well, I was saying on these right here. This was a break. This is a breakthrough. These shit's kind of confusing. Yeah, these are break, break, um, break, uh, break point pro. So on the break point pro, the suede feel good. B. I said it was a B. Let me give it more like a little B plus or something like that. Over here, this part right here on the on the cons, the con stars, or the con pros, whatever up there. This feels good right here. So this is like a good B. Over here, I give this a B minus. This is feel rough. I don't know if they meant to do that on purpose. On this side, on the lateral side, it still feel like a little B plus. I mean B minus. You know what I mean? You get to see inside the star. You know, gray. But I like this one. Nice colors. I gotta say, can blue and beige always go together? Blue and tan, whatever way you want to say it. Yeah, let's say more like tan. Like a tan, that more like a beige. So blue and tan, always going good together. Navy blue, and then these looking like the stars, the speckles, and like that. And then white speckles all over a navy blue uh, suede thing, and this suede thing feels the same way like how on that low. Feel like um a B minus. I think that's the way they meant it to want it to be, a rough way. So on this, it just looks nice with the speckle. I don't know, the speckle just a nice design on it together. And you got the beige on the back, a little pull tab. Yeah, I like how you see how that little stitching, how they how they did that little stitching there. That looked nice. Look at that stitching. Went all the way over there, and then they did some old little wee-hoo right past each other. And swing it back. Yeah, I like the way they did that. And then they put a little um, beige's gold, like a little gold on the midsole. So that's cool. And these are on the mids. That's cool. And then on the lows, as I said, this one is purple. And then on the speckle one, the speckle one is black. So that right there is black. And I like this color right here. This is black right here black with the, um, the tan. The black and the tan look better to me. Plus the speckles look nice with it. Look at that design. That look nice. Yeah, the speckles look nice on there. Speckles like a... Hmm. Speckle to me is like... I don't know. This is like somebody dropped some paint splatter or some shit up on there. Looking like a little grayish type style to me. Yeah, look nice along with the white on there. I like this one. This one came out. I like this one. I wish this one was like a high top. Not even even mid like a high top like Vans. High top Vans. I would have liked it like that. The mid look alright, but I would have rather just in high top. I think high top would look better. 
You know, I really didn't really it was always about mids. I've always just like really high top. You know, mids is, you know. That's like my second, I don't say that to me, that and low top to me is together. The high is to me is the worst for me. My preference. You see how the Luna looking all cool. And that's what it is, and uh that's what it is on these puppies here. On the soles on here, regular uh Converse sole on these cons uh, right here. And they call again, I'm forgetting here. They call cons. What the hell cons are these? Okay, con ones. That's what they call con ones. Con ones, lows, con C O L, I mean C O N um, S one. And these are the break points up on there. I think I got that right again. I finally got it right. Yeah, there's the break points. Yeah, break pro. <laughs> break point pro. Alright, so I got break point. Break point pros. Alright. And they seventy five dollars. Alright. Seventy five dollars right there. And then those are speckled joints. Seventy. And then those are seventy five. Alright. I'm gonna be doing a review on those next. Seventy dollars. And they had uh Two other colors. We're gonna get into that later on. And that's what it is up on here, man. I ain't show you the thing on this one. Regular um, sole. The only one that has the different sole is the um the Breakpoint Pro. That's the only one that has the different soles on there. Alright. Alright, Dad. Alright, man. Till next time. Thanks for rocking out on Converse Week. Shout out to uh, Nike. Shout out to Converse. Well, Nike own Converse now, so they all want. So shout out to Nike Converse. And shout out to the people who, you know, keep Converse alive. And shout out to y'all. Thank you for uh, stepping in to check this out. The ones that sub, that's that, that I appreciate 100%. And ones that just coming in now, I ask you to sub. This is my job. I showcase every day. No, I showcase a lot of time. I show. I'm averaging about 15 shoes a, in a month. So, for the last six months, 15 shoes in a month. That's what I went and went hard on this. And so far, like I said, I'm doing terrible. You know what I mean? And also, I'm wasting a lot of money that. I got to start getting popping, so I'm, I'm trying to do this raffle thing because I realize I'm not going to get 1,000 subs and 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 to the point where Google give me money no time soon. And then the big guy is going to help, and I'm not going to beg them either. So, just like I said before, I'm independent. You know what I mean? They don't want to help you. You just slide past them and do what you got to do. So, that's where I'm on. Hopefully, I get a lot of people soon up on there. And uh, hopefully, man, I start supporting the raffle because I am Mr. Raffle, a.k.a. Dready Dread. And uh, we're getting ready to come with a big raffle, expensive stuff coming up right now. So it's not probably going to be a dollar. It's probably going to be more than that. It's probably going to be a $5 or $10 because uh, this one is going to be expensive. So this is what I want to start getting, y'all. Expensive stuff from like Farragamo and all different type of stuff. Yeah, into it by all means and all that. You know, none of us can afford it. At least most of us can't afford it. So hey, with the raffle, you can try to afford it. That's the way we're rolling. And in the meanwhile, hopefully I can make a little change off it too because I've been doing it in the red so far. So I might as well get a change out of it. It's supposed to be a job, and right now, man, this ain't even making sense no more. <laughs> Basically doing this, all right? Thank you for hearing my rant for the wrestling lamb. I'm not going to kill your ears off like I usually do getting these rants. I'm getting ready to get the hell out of here. Peace to everybody. Enjoy your night. Try to stay positive best you can, especially if you stress like a motherfucker. Always do right, man, because once your mind go crazy, -wee, it's hard to get away from it. On that note, I'm about to say peace. One love, throw a thumbs up. 
No thumbs down. There's no need. If you don't like, just don't put nothing. Respect to everybody. Black Hippie Show. Dreddy Dread AKA Raffle. I'm about to have these raffle coming up. Let's get it, baby. Like I said, you're going through Google Wallet. And if the, we don't have enough entries, I will just refund your money. Worst case come to worst case. And I didn't refund it. You can always make a claim with Google Wallet. Because that's what we're using. Google Wallet. And they only use debit cards. So let's get... It's the best way to get your credit up anyway. Get your status up anyway. If you don't have a bank account, go start a bank account tomorrow. Put like a little... Uh, what? $50, $100, $75. Give them your information, your license and everything. And start yourself up, man. Get yourself up, baby. And help you start and get your thing up. You have a debit card, something in your name. All right, daddy? Until next time, like I said, it's Mr. Raffle. I'm always going to try to make it the best way for y'all. Like I said, and at the same token, hopefully they'll look out on me. And hopefully I can make some money on these raffles. I'm going to get y'all... Shit that you might not throw hey, I would do. <laughs> Belts, everything. Give me a waist size. Give me every goddamn thing. I got I got styles, baby. I'm out. Yes, man. I'm not a big channel because I don't put product out. I'm not a big channel because they just never support and I never had nobody put me on a big platform. That's all it really is, baby. I done seen T Ward from Mike Rich Camp. You know, with two videos, two videos, and he had 6,000, nearly 6,000 subs just because he was on Mike Rich about a year. So, I see things can happen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't because of that. It just it wasn't following my act. It is what it is. I already know it. So, you know, it is what it is. I talk up. I don't try, you know, it is what it is. It's a grimy game, this, uh, Sneak a um, channel shit. It's a grimy game. One love to everybody. Stop being a cult. Far as a cult that shun people. Let's be a cult that embrace everybody. Everybody. And once again, I'm going to say again. Gays, you are invited on my channel. I don't care if people leave or not. Because I'm trying to make a money. And at the same token, try to get y'all the best deals on these raffles. And the best shit. For these raffles for you to have inside your house, maybe that you couldn't afford. And hey, if you just put a dollar or two or three or four or five or ten, whatever the raffle gonna be, you can get something that costs way more. On that note, I'm gone. <laughs>